Hi, this is Sonia with EdTech and Design here with a quick Zoom tutorial for presenters hosting sessions at PD in Pajamas. I'm going to share my screen. I'm actually using Zoom right now to record this, and that way you can see how I'm using it. Move my toolbar to the side. All right, so in this session, we are going to set up your Zoom settings, schedule a Zoom meeting launch a Zoom meeting, and also access some resources that can help you with Zoom. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is sign into Zoom using your Zoom account. So you go to zoom.us and click on sign in. And then this is where you're going to sign in using the Zoom account information provided to you. Ours looks like this, Zoom 9. You're, you might have a number if it hasn't been changed yet. So it might be something like Zoom 37 at SAISD.net um, and so on. And then the password that was given to you. All right. So once you're in the dashboard, you're going to see a menu on the left-hand side that looks like this. Um, click on Profile. And on that page, you're going to see your personal meeting ID. This will not change. You see that circle there in red. You'll also see your sign-in email information. That's where you can change it if you'd like. And then towards the bottom, you'll see the sign-in password, and that's where you can also change your password if you want to do that. Okay. Meeting settings. So on the left-hand side, again, click in the menu, and we're going to set our Zoom sessions up. So. In uh, Zoom settings, you're, the first um, thing you're going to do is turn on telephone and computer audio under audio type. The rest you can leave uh, unchecked. And then scroll down the page and go to mute partici participants automatically. This will mute all participants when they initially join the meeting, but they can unmute themselves during the meeting. And then you as the host also have control on whether or not they can mute or unmute themselves. And I'll show you that in a second. All right, scroll down further and you're going to turn on chat, private chat, and play sound when participants enter or leave your session. And make sure that you click on just heard by host only so that all your attendees are not having to hear the chime. Okay. Next, uh, this should already be clicked, feedback to Zoom, so you can leave that checked. And then turn on polling. Allow host to put attendees on hold and then always show meeting control toolbar. That makes it easy to uh, get to your tools. Otherwise, it'll um, appear and disappear off your page uh, depending on where your mouse is at. So it's best to just pin it there so you can see it at all times. All right, and then um, go ahead and turn on annotation, whiteboard and nonverbal feedback. So this, along with the polling feature you just turned on a little while ago, are great interactive tools while you're holding a session. So you might want to practice with those just to see how they work. Uh, but they will add more interactivity into your session. All right, so next we're going to schedule a meeting. And you will find this at the upper right part of your dashboard and click on Schedule Meeting. And you will notice an area to include your topic, uh, title for your session, and then also description. Uh, for your PD in pajamas session. You'll uh, put all of that information here. And then here in the red box, leave recurring meeting unclicked. You don't need to click that because this is not a recurring meeting. And then for video, go ahead and uh, turn on uh, the video for hosts and participants if you'd like. Uh, let me just explain this a little further. So if you turn these on, it means everyone will come into the session with video on. However, um, you can turn it off, and all that means is when they come in, there won't be video, but they can still choose to turn their video on if they'd like. So it just, really, it just depends on how you want participants to enter the session with the video on or off. Uh, either way, they can still control that from their own dashboard. All right, and then next section for audio, um, click on both. So participants, Participants have a choice between using their telephone, audio, or the computer. And then require meeting password. This is in red because um, it is optional. You don't have to have that on. If you'd like, it is uh, used when participants are dialing in using their, their 
phone and keypad, not using a web browser, but actually using their phone. And then personal meeting ID, make sure that's clicked. Um, make sure it's clicked because this is the number that's assigned to you. It's your personal meeting space ID. And that's the number that you will send out to your participants to join. If you don't have that clicked, um, Zoom will automatically issue you a random number every time. And um, right now it's probably best that you just stick to the one number so that you make sure you're sending them the correct link every time. And then record the meeting automatically. Uh, click that so that you don't forget to record your meeting. You may get started with the meeting and forget to hit the record button and then the meeting's over and you have no recording. So uh, make sure this is clicked in case you need that recorded. And then save and you're done. Where will you find that meeting you just scheduled? In the left-hand menu, you'll see meetings. Click on that and you're gonna get to a page that looks like this. So you see some example meetings I've scheduled here. On the left side, you'll see the date and time. In the middle, you see the name of the session. And then towards the right, you'll see start or delete. So you can delete a session, but you, you can also start your session right from that page. Once you start a session, you'll see a screen similar to this and click on join with computer audio. If you want, you can test your speaker and microphone first before you click join. Once you're there, you'll uh, notice that you can invite others straight from that, from that area. You can grab your invitation uh, information or you can copy the URL and send that to others either straight from this screen or grab the URL and you can go paste it in an email or in performance uh, matters to send that information to your participants. All right, so this is just an example of what the invitation looks like pasted into an email. And then I can send that to whoever I want. Also, make sure that you practice. So find somebody that can join a session with you and practice uh, launching a meeting. You might also wanna practice joining a meeting to see what it looks like from a participant's side. And do that a couple of times, making sure you're comfortable with it. All right, and finally, um, in Performance Matters, if you'd like to go ahead and put the URL or the, invita the entire invitation information inside Performance Matters, um, you can go to your session there and then go to Roster, Email All, and you can email directly from here in Performance Matters and send to the people that are registered for your session, but you can also put that information in your uh, course information in the notes section. That way, everyone who's enrolled in your course has access to those notes. All right, and this is it for the Zoom 101. Uh, I wanna make sure you know that there are resources at the end of this uh, Google Slideshow. The presenters resource area has lots of videos you can watch on almost any topic that you might have a question about. And then there is also a link uh, for participant resources so that participants know how they can join. You might wanna send that link out as well in an email. But notice here, it goes over all possibilities, whether they're joining from a computer, a Windows, uh, web, using the web link from an iPhone, iPad, Android, all different possibilities are here. So you might wanna send them that link as well. All right, and then um, access to these slides. Let me go back to the beginning really quick. Uh, you can access these slides at goo.gl slash lowercase v, f, y, uppercase h, lowercase e, and uppercase x. And all of this information is available on those Google Slides for you. If you have any questions, please call EdTech and Design at 554-2430 or feel free to email us as well. Uh, you can find all our information at our website, www.saisd.net slash edtech. Thank you.